would be part of the dermatology residency program. Every dermatologist in the country is aware of cutaneous lymphomas and cutaneous T and B cell lymphomas. And most residence pro residency programs also have their residence um, um, at the VA, where it's, it's basically impossible to um, see um, dermatology patients at the VA and not see cutaneous T cell lymphoma. Yeah, so what we usually look for um, with a dermatologic round, um, we look for specific features um, um, of a rash, and then we determine whether it makes actually even sense to do a, a biopsy or whether we even need a biopsy. Um, Typically, a very, very common dermatologic disease is psoriasis, and you won't find many dermatologists in this country or worldwide who feel the need to biopsy psoriasis in order to make a diagnosis. With cutaneous T-cell lymphoma, that's completely different. So whenever we um, have the suspicion for cutaneous T-cell lymphoma, based on really what we call the morphology of the rash, how the rash looks like and where it's distributed, very fine wrinkling of the skin um, in basically red scaly uh, lesions that tend to be uh, maybe on the lower back, on the buttocks, on the thighs. If we see that, then most uh, dermatologists would in fact do a biopsy. And that would be the recommendation. You see something like this, you absolutely should do the biopsy because this would not look like um, psoriasis or like your common standard uh, case of, of chronic eczema. Uh, 